What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? Welcome to yet another video of the Neural Network and Deep Learning series brought to you by Shikshak Academics. In case you are still wondering, yes, the video of Morgan Freeman is not real. It is synthetically generated by using something called neural networks. Do you want tiny cute robots as pets or a city full of driverless cars ensuring a smooth traffic? Or do you want to make a quick movie reservation with the cute girl that agreed to go out with you? Neural networks are running in the background to make your life easy in every step. It is almost like a celebrity in the tech community. Neural networks have proven to be one of the most effective machine learning tool in numerous domains. But what is a neural network? Simply put, it's a machine learning algorithm that can be used for making predictions. A simple example can be predicting an image of a handwritten digit and tell us which digit it is. Now let's take a peek in the box. Say we have five inputs and we want to predict three outputs. Think of it as a student getting marks of five subjects and we're trying to predict three qualities of the student, such as logic, creativity and memorization. Let's say as normal academic systems, we have a common scoring criteria that decides whether the student passes or fails. It takes all the subjects as inputs and sums them up to make the decision. The scoring criteria may also assign different weights to different subjects. The output qualities will also not have the same weightage with respect to the decision provided by the scorer. It is pretty clear that using one scorer might not be enough for three complex qualities. So we can bring more scorers on the table which operates with a different set of weights. The more the scorers, the more variety we have in performance metrics. However, all these metrics only weighs the marks of the subjects. Imagine if we have a second set of derived metrics that weighs the first set of metrics. Wouldn't that be great to have such a complex equations that can portray complex qualities of the student? We can keep stacking up layers of the scorers to get more and more intricate mathematical formulas because at the end, that's what our output needs. Anyways, let's move aside from all these complications for now and focus on a single neuron. A neuron accepts inputs from the previous layer and multiply them with some weights. Moreover, the scorer might also have a bias about the student based on earlier experiences. And thus, a corresponding bias input can also be considered. We add them all up and decide using a function that can provide a binary decision. That's it. That's what a neuron is. However, if you want to know about the neuron in more details, check out this video by clicking the link above. Anyways, whatever these neurons decide, the output depends on it. And based on the value of the weights and biases, we can calculate the value of the output. If we have a desired set of values that we want the network to predict, then we can compare the predicted and the desired output and calculate the error. Now neural networks are designed in a way to ensure that the error is a function of the weights and biases and the function has a valid derivative. This allows us to update the weights using the derivative or the gradient such that we reach the minimum error point. This process is called as training. As the training progresses, the network slowly gets better and better at predicting the outputs. This simple model is used in numerous algorithms that are together known as neural networks. Our journey here has only started, so give us your feedback and comments and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Peace out.